now that we've soldered the piece and it's cooled off, we're just gonna clean up the seam. So now see, by adding heat to it, because it's sterling silver, it's turning black, it's oxidation. So using sandpaper, you can pretty much um, shine it all back up again. And the solder went really nicely over the seam. So if you wanna zoom in on that. Okay, then I'm going to put it on my ring mandrel. And basically I'm just gonna brace it and I'm just gonna And I want to hammer over the seam, just then it blends it in, so then you don't really see a seam anymore. So then there's a lot of different kinds of hammers that you can buy. Um, I just have the ball peen here, but you can buy one with a sharp edge and then it gives you a more serrated um, look, like a corrugated look on your band. So, um, let me just add a little bit more. So you're just gonna hammer and keep turning it as you hammer. There's no like pattern or anything involved. Just random hammering. Okay, so then I'm just gonna. So then it's a little bit um, wonky. So you wanna flatten that by just putting it on here. And the metal would and using a wooden, you can just kind of flatten it, or you can also flatten it by putting another metal block over it. So then we're just gonna shine it up again. And that's it. And you have a textured band.